Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the ReactJS tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to display images from an array in a ReactJS class component. Compile successfully. Let's check the output. So here we got the new output, the image gallery. One, two, three, four, five. Image 4, Image 3, Image 2 and Image 1. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I am using Visual Studio Code to create a ReactJS application. Just for the time saving, I have already created an application called chkml insert in this above folder. Now let me expand this project. And notice this source folder. Let me expand this one also. The source folder contains all the ReactJS components. So let's create one new component in this source folder. Right click the source folder, new file, and the file name is I'm simply giving the image gallery.js. And here we got our image gallery.js file. Now, in order to create a ReactJS component, in ReactJS, there are two types of components. One is a class component and the second one is a functional component. For this example, I am using class component. But before that, we must import the React class from the React library. Let's import that one first. Import React from React library. After that, let's define one class called with my file name which is the image gallery. I am extending the components from the React class. After that, first let's uh, export export default image gallery. In every class component, there are two important methods we must add. First one is a render method. After adding the render method within the curly brackets, we have to add the return method. This return method will display all the um, HTML elements on the browser. So in the return method, in the return method, I'm adding one div element. The div element is the root element of our component. Whenever, if you want to add more than one HTML element, we must put between the root element, which is a div container. Or you can add simply empty tags, which is also a root element of this component. After that, I'm adding one simple headings, image gallery from an array ReactJS tutorials. After that, I'm adding one horizontal line. Now, after the horizontal line, uh, what we'll add here, we'll do one thing. We'll put this everything in the center tag. I'm closing this center tag after the horizontal line and above the root element, above the closing root element. Now what we'll do is we'll save this file before adding the functionality to create an array after that we'll display images in an image object. Let's check the output of this component. This component is displaying or not on the browser. So for that, go to view, click terminal. And here we got our terminal and notice the path is D column. This is my folder name, which is this one. Inside this folder, I have my ReactJS project, which is chk mul insert. Let's add that one. chk c. Change the IP. chk mul insert. Enter. And here we've got out the whole path. Then we can able to run our application with a command called npm start enter. Uh, 
and here we got the output um, it displaying that default app component the reason we have to configure our component which is the image gallery in react in index.js file where is the index.js file in the source folder there is index.js file open like that see here in the render method we, we have app component instead of app component i am adding the image gallery which is our component name as well as we need to import our component in the header section now let's save this file save all switch over to the browser let's reload the page and here we got our new output of our image gallery component at this moment we've got only the heading tags and one horizontal handle now my aim is i want to display some images here from an array so first what we'll do is we'll create one folder to add images and that folder i'm adding in the public folder public folder not in the source folder let me expand this public folder there are some files in the public folder the default files in this public folder right click the mouse new folder i'm creating a folder name is images now inside this images i'll add some images so open explorer file explorer our path is in the d column example search values search command insert in the public folder open that one here we got the images now at this moment the folder is empty now what i'll do is in the downloads downloads i'll add some images one two three four and five five images i'm adding let's copy that one Control c and i have copied and again switch over to my public images folder at this moment the public images is empty right click the mouse and i'm pasting those images here see the path this is the folder this is my project name after that we have public and images now let's check the images is added or not in this folder i'm expanding the images folder see here we got the images what we'll do is here the image names are very lengthy so i'll make it simple rename i'm adding image one rename image 2 image 3 mg4 and the last one is the image 5 rename image 5 and here we got our images in this images folder now let's create um, an array <clears throat> um, let's create an array in the render method what I'll do is let I'm defining one array gallery is equals to between curly brackets I'm adding the source first thing source um, source is equals to the path the image path i'm getting from this images so we have to write the path here between single quotes dot we have to write first the images which is our folder name forward slash and i'm adding image one dot jpg then comma let's add the title of our image which is the image one comma let's copy this one this one is not it was it's a column again i'm copying this one we have five images so i'm pasting five arrays image 2 image 3 image 4 
image image 5 and this one is the title also image 2 image 3 image 4 and image 5 and now let's add a column here huh? semicolon now here the code whenever we have created an array in reactors or javascript we should add the map method we are mapping the arrays I'm adding one do element inside this do element now let's map with this image gallery image gallery dot map method this map method I'm adding one index is a parameter parameter should have between this and now we require the image attribute image source is equals to and the source we are getting from here the source property index dot see here we got the property name source and title source and also I'm adding the title attribute index dot title and also we require the alt attribute alt attribute I have not added here in this property so I'm declaring here only adding an alt attribute is very helpful for SEO engine to optimize our images on the google search so all properties very important for the image element images let's add the images and also i'm adding some height 250 let's uh, put this in the second line when the width is 250 and also I'm adding one style and style border border colon solid color uh, comma background color is gray that's it we have done the complete coding part we have binded the image array into this image element let's save this file save all compile successfully let's check the output so here we got the new output the image gallery one two three four five image 4, image 3, image 2 and image 1. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained in a simple way how to display images from an array in a React.js class component. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel. Catch you in my next video.